Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 20. I got one skill point to spend this morning, so I'm just going to throw that into Machine Gunner. Then we're going to do some farming. I've got a bunch of seeds to plant here. Then we're going on a trader run. We're going to go see all three traders today. We'll go see Joel first, then we'll head out and see Rick in the desert. Then Jen, who is also out in the desert, and I'm sure we'll be able to squeeze in a job or two for Jen before we have to head back here and get ready for the horde. All right, let's go see Joel first. Got a bunch of stuff to sell, and I got some sugar butt candy, so we'll use that candy, do our transactions with Joel, and then I'm sure we can get to Rick's before the candy runs out. Whether or not we can get to Jen's before it runs out is questionable, but either way, we'll do our best. After we're done with our dealings with Jen, uh, we'll do some jobs for her until it's about that time to roll back home and get ready for the horde. Now, the base is ready to go. Not much there to do, except for just gear up, put the sledgehammer turret in place, and wait for the zombies. Ah, more sugar butt, eye candy, and rock busters. We're good to go. Let's eat the sugar butt candy now. I know it's an ongoing joke about eating the butt outside, because Joel doesn't like to watch me eat the butt, but it also reminds me to eat the candy, because there's been plenty of times where I forgot to. Hey, look, I forgot we did a we did a quest. All right, sell all this shit here. Beautiful. Plenty of coin to spend. Nine millimeter. Shotgun shells. Gunpowder. I'm gonna take those rocket frags as well. I guess I'll buy the magnum ammo. Why not? Bullet tips. Bullet casings. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take that battery bank. What the hell? It's only 680 coin. I don't think I'll need those relays. But. Maybe I'll buy them anyway. They're also pretty cheap. Just in case. We're not going to be putting any electricity in tonight, but probably before the next horde. Um, yep. Take that book. More damage with 44 weapons. Let's read that. And let's roll. On to Trader Rick's. And we've got nine minutes left of this sugar butt candy. That should be plenty of time to get there. Ah, Rick's place. You know, I lived with Rick in my sh very short Darkness Fall series. It was enjoyable, I must say. Let's go see him. I forget when we started calling him Rick. It was quite a while ago, though. Alright, what do you got, Rick? Gunpowder. 7.62. AP 9mm. AP 7.62. Uh, we're good. Shotgun shells. Shotgun slugs. Um, sniper volume three. I'll probably just wait till we find that. Okay, then I guess we're done here. Yeah, let's head to Jen's. We got four minutes left on the sugar buck candy. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it down there in four minutes, but we're going to try. All right, you damn birds. Fucking relentless. You want to get killed so bad? So be it. Get over here. Well, these mountains are going to be a problem. There's a road to the west that looks like it runs to Gen City. It's a little out of our way, but I'm sure it'll be faster than trying to climb these mountains. Hey, more rotten flesh. Oh, look at this. This is like X Games on crack. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. Full control. <laughs> that was sweet. 
All right, unfortunately, we're not going to make it to Jen's in time. About 30 seconds left of this sugar butt candy. Not a big deal, though. We already sold all of our shit today. We're just looking to buy and, uh, of course, do a couple of jobs for us. Since it's only 10 in the morning, we got plenty of time to kill. Ah, more sugar butts. I'll take them. Not going to use them now, though. I'd rather hold on to them until we have a bunch of stuff to sell. What up, Jen? You... Don't look so good. Well, get you used to it. Because other than Rick that. and Joel and fucking Wrecked, I'm the only guy you got. Gumpowder. Wow, you don't have much, Jen. A great heist. Yeah, motion detection. Shotgun shells. Remember All right. me if you need medical. Let's supplies. see what you got here in terms of jobs. Fetch. And fetch both very close. Oh, Let's do this best. one first. Two more jobs, and then I'm sure we'll have enough time to do that other one. And then uh, we'll just see what time it is after that. All right, here we are. Looks like we go in through the backyard. But uh, let me check the trash here in the mailbox first. Nothing. Oil. Lead. That's good. And what? Three sheets of paper. Nine. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. It's going through the backyard now. Got a little pool and a pool house. Bitch! Oh, look at that. Took out the pool boy with one punch. Scrap, scrap. More cloth. And cool shades. I guess I'll take these tires. Or the plastic parts we get from those tires. Uh, I'll take these chairs, too. You get, um... Iron for scrapping those. A little bit of cement. There we go. Anything in the pool? Some clothes. Is it worth searching? I guess so. More cloth. Alright. I like how they did this diving board. Very nice. Some food. Oh! Shit, I almost ate that food. Good thing I didn't. Would've just fucked the whole series up. You know how sick vegans get if they eat meat. Take these tires. Oh, wait, I gotta use these to get into that window. Come on. Get in there. Oh, hey, Mo. Dead. Let's grab these tires now. Alright, nothing in the closet. Oh. Oh, those are just tiles breaking under my feet. The floor is not giving out. Oh, damn, big boy dropping down from above. He's like an angel. A disgusting, rotten fucking angel. You know how they say only a mother can love that face? Even his mom was like, ugh. Well, you can take a whooping, big boy, I'll give you that. He knows I'm just fucking with him. I only make fun of the people I love. I think there's something behind this wood pile. Yep, some ammo. Nice. Let's grab that chair. I don't think there's anything behind the fireplace. Oh, choppity chop, bitch. I'm good on the murky water. Oh. Splat. And it looks like the satchel is right here. Beautiful. That's it for this job, but we're going to continue looting. I'm actually being pretty sneaky, you see that? Didn't even wake that guy up. If you watch my Lockdown series, I just did an episode where I went through the Shotgun Messiah HQ at night with night vision goggles, and I was trying to be sneaky, and yes, it was more so of a joke and me just having fun, but I didn't realize that my character was wearing mostly heavy armor. I think I'm wearing um, military leg armor, but the rest of the shit is like heavy armor. And uh, yeah, not the best thing to wear if you're going to be sneaking around. That shit clanks together. Uh, I mean, you can't really hear it. If a zombie hits you when you're wearing heavy armor, you can hear the, the armor, like the iron clank and shit. But if you're just walking around, you don't really notice it in the game. So you forget that... It does add to the amount of noise you make, even if your character is sneaking. 
We should uh, run out to the bike real quick and unload. Uh, I still want to go back in the house and grab the main stash, but let's mine a little bit of oil shale first. Wake up time! Oh! Oh shit, there's three in there! Look at these motherfuckers, not even waking up from gunshots. They're waking others up, though. What do you got for me, Jen? Well, that didn't take long. Oh, this is bullshit. I guess I'll take the book I already know, just so I can sell it back to you. All right, and I don't want to sell you anything else just yet. Now that I'll see you later, good. Jen. Trust oh, wait. The oh, second God. job. Hey, I'm back, Jen. Let me do this other job for you. you and you better work. have a better reward this for me. Dangerous work. This POI again? Alright, it's just a fetch quest. We'll do it quickly. Uh, the supplies are up on the second floor, it looks like. So, oh, son of a bitch. Why can't I ever make that jump on the first try? Jump! There we go. Uh, supplies are... Now they're below us. So, um, they're probably not up in the attic. They're probably on the second floor. Scrap the overalls, take that helmet. This floor gives out here. Boom. Okay. We know that. We know that. Um, reload rifles 10% faster. That's nice. Hey, look at that. The plaster cast schematic. And we can actually craft those now that we can use cornmeal. Drink that water. And let's go right for the supplies. Just get that out of the way. And then, since we got some time to kill, we might as well go for the main stash while we're here. <laughs> nice. Oh, here's the satchel. Bam, job's done. And you know what I was just thinking? I forgot to check the traders for steel knuckle parts. We can currently craft a level 4 set of steel knuckles, but we only have 11 parts. We need 12 for the level 4s. Uh, so I'm one part short. And I forgot to check. So, um, when we go back to, to uh, Jen's to get our reward, I'll check her inventory. But I'm not going to have time to go back to Rick's and Joel's. But, uh, their inventories don't reset until, what, day 22, I believe? I have to double check when we go back and see Jen. Which means that when I edit this footage, when I go back in editing, I'll look and see. And if either of those traders had knuckle parts, then in the next episode, we'll go pick them up before their inventory resets. This is where they try to get you here with the Fugazi wall. Yeah, I know you're in there, you fucking mutt. All right. We get a good amount of rotten flesh here, though, so that's nice. I'll take the drinks. Can't fuck with the eggs of the pie, though. Give me something better, Jen. Congratulations. What's up with yeah, giving me mods and shit? Yet. Actually, you know what? The semi-automatic trigger group mod might be a good thing to put on the AK. Save us some ammo. Let me see here. Um, nope. She does not have any knuckle parts. So, like I said, I'll, when I when I edit this footage, I'll 
check and see if Joel or Rick sometime. had any. And if either of them uh, do, then we'll go back uh, tomorrow in the next episode and pick them up. Here we go. Hopefully the base works against more than just one zombie. Come on. Hop in, motherfucker. No, don't attack the pole. There he goes. Hey, we got a dog. Let's take care of him. Dead. Got another one. Oh, shit. <laughs> the sledgehammer turret sent it flying. Look at the sledgehammer turret doing work. Oh, shit. Fucking bird already. Look at this. It's working. Oh, this is beautiful cop already. Could get a little crazy tonight. that bird fuck man the birds are gonna be a problem nothing I can do about that though well there might be something I can do about it I mean we can't just cover that hole that's in the roof because then it will stop this base from working so maybe we can build up on top of the roof keeping the opening there but it might make it harder for the birds to fly through that opening so I don't know that's the only thing I can come up with off the top of my head. I'll have to put some thought into it, though. Because, you know, there's always a problem. And and that's fine. Look at this guy just hanging out. See ya! Um, you know, we fixed the problem with the birds, and that created an even worse problem. You know, making the base not work anymore. Now we got the base working. We gotta deal with the bird problem all over again. No. Where'd you go, you son of a bitch? What the hell? Ah, oh, there it is. You know what? We picked up the battery bank today. We gotta see if we can find um, a shotgun turret or something like that. We throw that up on the rooftop. That should take care of the bird problem. Bombs have been working great tonight. Oh shit. Ah, oh, get out of here, lady. This is my platform. Shit, a piece of the ladder is missing. Oh, it's probably me shooting at it. Damn it. I was like, oh, this is a good vantage point. 
Uh, but I was also shooting the ladder. Doesn't appear to be stopping the zombies from coming up, though, so that's good. I just won't, uh, oh, man. Fuck. <laughs> what the hell was that? Dead. Um, yeah, I just won't shoot from, uh, from that direction anymore, because I'm pretty sure I was probably contributing to the destruction of the ladder. Oh, hang on, Kenny. As if your meth depended on it. Oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> First mess up with the pipe bombs. I'll try not to do that again. Ah, I wasn't fast enough. Oh boy. Yes. I tell you, the shotgun is absolutely perfect for this setup. It's just the side-by-side -side sucks because it's two shots and reload. Once we get ourselves a pump, or better yet, the full auto shotgun with the fucking drum magazine, we'll be unstoppable up here. Oh. Fucking birds, man. Oh, shit. Who was puking at me? Was that a bird or a cop? Oh, my God. We're gonna fucking die. What the hell? Holy shit. This is absolutely crazy. I don't even know what just happened. I think it was a puking bird. Oh, here we go. I just heard it. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. That was definitely uh, one of the puking birds. Oh, get out of here. I tell you, other than this bird dilemma, the base is working beautifully. Ah, look at this. It's like they know that's my weak point. So they just keep sending more birds. We better repair this hatch. I do have some iron on me, just for that reason. Well, the whole bottom portion of the ladder is knocked out. They're definitely not going for it now. I mean, I was surprised they were making it up the ladder with just one piece knocked out. Um, so at this point, the, the base isn't going to work the way it's supposed to. I mean, they still are jumping into the pit for one reason or another. We could... Uh, oh, I hear another bird. Um... We could, uh... Here we go. Fuck you. Uh, we could run into the barn and get where our supplies are. You know, sandwich ourselves in there. So, uh, Jesus, how many fucking birds tonight? This is crazy. Uh, that'll be an easy way to take out the rest of the horde. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then what we need to do moving forward is upgrade that ladder to steel. And obviously upgrade the bottom of the pit all to steel as well. But for now, let's get right in here. Pop that up. Pop that up. Let the zombies come to us. funny how they seem to be making the conscious decision to come to both windows and not just one. Like they're purposely trying to surround me. And uh, I don't blame them. Shit. <laughs> That's what I would do if I were a bunch of zombies. Too bad they don't know who they're fucking with. Eat shit, birds. And that's it. Man, I'll tell you what. That worked fucking awesome, except for, as I said earlier, the bird dilemma. Um, I don't have any complaints 
about tonight or the way the base functioned, except for, of course, like I also said earlier, uh, the ladder needs to be upgraded to steel, and so does the bottom of the pit. And then we will really be good to go. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I can do to um, protect the ladder any further than that, you know, up upgrading it to steel. And then, of course, not shooting it <laughs> like I was doing tonight. We definitely got some zombies left down in the pit here. Yeah, this is it though, I'm sure. But yeah, that was good. That was really good. And you know what? Um, even when demolishers show up, if we catch them coming up the ladder, it's going to be easy to get headshots on them and not shoot their button. So I, I don't even think demolishers will give us too much of a problem. Unless the sledge turret sets them off. That could be a problem. Because if the sledge turret sets them off, they explode, they destroy the ladder, that fucks the whole base up. So, I put some thought into that, how we're going to um, deal with that problem. But that's far off. We don't got to worry about demolishers yet. It's only day 21. What we need to worry about is those damn birds. Not bad, we got some good loot tonight. It was a good night, other than the damn birds. We also need to get the ladder and the bottom of this pit upgraded to steel ASAP, so now it is a scramble for the crucible. We need to find that thing or the schematic for that thing so we can craft one, start getting steel crafted. Um, and then, like I was saying earlier, I think the best way to deal with the birds is to put in a battery bank or a generator and put a shotgun turret up on the rooftop. That should definitely deal with our bird problem. So anyway, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me get all this inventory uh, sh and shit put away, and we'll pick things up on the morning of day 21. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.